Hey, this is Zach with PRP Seats, here today to show you how to install our JK seat covers. Our seat covers are a great option to give your stock seats a brand new look. They're also fully customizable with over 60 different colors and materials to choose from. The covers we're going to install today are designed to perfectly fit over the 2007 to 2012 stock JK seats. So we're going to start off the installation with the driver's seat. First step is going to remove this plastic handle, the bolt for the seatbelt, and the headrest. Uh, for this, you're just going to pop this off with a screwdriver, and then both bolts on here require a T40. We're going to start out with the bottom cover for the driver's seat. Keep in mind there is a driver and passenger side cover, so make sure you have the correct one that has the cutout for the handle on one side and the one for the seatbelt on the other. The first thing you're going to want to do is to feed the seatbelt through the slot in the cover and push the flap through the back. For the handle mechanism, start on one side and tuck it underneath and then slowly work your way around. Find both strings and make sure you pull them all the way through to the back. Back corners, we have a little Velcro strip, so make sure to connect both of those tight. take both strings and feed them through the loops on the back of the seat, uh, have them connect in the center, pull them tight, and tie them off. If you have any trouble getting them through the loops, we also have this helpful little tool to help pull them through. Next up, we're going to throw on the top. Uh, make sure you have the correct driver side or passenger side. The way you figure that out is the outside arm is going to have this opening for your airbag. This one is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, just place the cover over the top of the seat, work it down, pull it tight. For the headrest slots, start on one side and push the cover underneath the plastic seats and then work your way around. On the bottom flap, start on one side, push the flap through and then pull it through on the back side the rest of the way. And connect it with the Velcro strip on the top side. On the airbag flap, make sure to tuck it inside If you have any creases or anything like this, just kind of go through and gently work everything out. Once the cover is on all the way, you can reinstall your handle and seatbelt. Headrests on the front and rear are actually different sizes. So the rear ones are bigger, and on our seat cover, they actually are rounded here in the bottom. The front ones are a little bit shorter and are flat and don't have any stitching on the bottom. The cover for the headrest slips right over and uses Velcro on the bottom to hold tight. You're gonna to wanna to attach the small Velcro strips on the side first.
then the larger flap. Once you're done with the driver's side seat, do the exact same for the passenger seat. Next up, we're gonna start on the rear bench seat. Uh, we're gonna start off with the headrests. They're actually a lot different than the front headrests. They don't have the easy clips to remove them. So the easiest way we found is to use an Allen wrench um, and kind of get into the slot in here. We're gonna start with the smaller side seat in the rear bench. Uh, easiest way we found to do it is actually to remove the two bolts on the floorboard. It lets you to slip on the bottom cover a lot easier. Easiest way we're gonna do it is to throw the cover on, fit it tight, pull it tight all around, and then you're actually gonna feed the string through it, pull it tight, and tie it off. Uh, there are two strings that are included with your seat covers. There's a longer one for the 60 side of the bench, and then the shorter one for the 40 side of the bench. We're gonna feed the smaller size string through all the loops. I usually like to start on this inside corner over here. I feed it all the way around. That way when I tie it off, it's over in the corner where you're not gonna see it. One important thing to know when you're running that string through is to run it underneath the legs. Next up, we're going to install the top cover. It's a lot easier than the bottom cover. All you really need to do is slip it over the top. Make sure you have the headrest slots to feed through. Uh, on the bottom, push through both sides, Velcro them again, and then there's a zipper on the side of the cover to hold it tight. Once you've installed the cover and it's fitting nice and tight and you've gotten out any kinks, you can reinstall those two bolts to the floor. The headrest covers are pretty straightforward, just like the front ones. Simply just slide the covers over the headrest. Make sure that the releases are facing the back of the headrest. Now for the large side of the bench. First thing you're gonna do, pop the seat down forward and you're gonna remove the center seat belt right here with this hole. Flip the seat back up and then you're gonna move the two front bolts on the floor. Just like the other side, you're gonna place the seat cover on, work it around to the bottom of the seat, pull it tight and taut, pull these through. Uh, and also here, Especially, make sure you pull the seat belt through the slot in the back. Once you've got the seat cover on, hold it around, got it nice and tight. Just like the other side, we're going to use our handy dandy tool to pull the string all the way through and pull it tight. Just like the other side, make sure you pull up the legs and feed the string underneath it. With this seat cover, because we have the seat belt here up on the shoulder, you have to undo the seat belt in the back of the seat, feed that entire assembly up to the slot on here, and then reattach this plastic piece over the cover.
You're going to take this plastic piece and feed it back over the top of the new cover. On this far side, zip up the side of the cover. And that's a wrap. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or email sales at prpseats.com.